Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly and this channel is all about print on demand everything. So if that is something that you're interested in, please do stick around. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how you can create this design right here. This is a scalable design and a very popular design style with that sort of arching text. So if this is something that you're interested in learning about, please do stick around. Okay, so here I am on Canva's homepage and I'm gonna show you guys how to create a cool design uh, using one of Canva's apps. So I'm gonna go ahead and start how I usually do with uh, custom size. And because I'm doing a t-shirt, I'm gonna make it 4,500 by 5,400 pixels. And we can hit create new design that will pull up a blank page for us here. Now I will be designing again for black or optimizing for black, I should say. So I'm gonna pick black as my background color. And we are going to be making a nice scalable design, by the way, um, that has to do with locations. So that's another very big scalable niche. So when we think of niches, you know, there's professions like nurses and teachers that are big. There's also locations, right? So. Um, it can be very broad, like just a state, or it can be very specific, like a specific city within a state, or it could be a country. So lots of different ways that we can go with location type of designs. The other thing that's been really popular lately has been sort of that um, curved text that is, um, how do I put this? like university style curved text. And I'll show you what I mean. So if I hit T on my keyboard here, and let's say I wanna go with Laguna Beach, I'm gonna type Laguna Beach. And this is the one I'm gonna go with. If I just did regular text, I'll make it big so you can see it. And I curved it, I could go to effects and I can curve it and I can curve it just a little bit. You can see the text is curved. I can get that curve but all of the letters are going to then go off on a tangent from what would be the big circle. So meaning if I was to go up to effects and I was to curve it more, so if I was gonna make it tight, you see now this L is going you know, out to the side and the H is going out to the side, a very dramatic example. I wanna be able to curve it so I get this curve on the bottom, but the letters are all still facing upright and so, to show you the difference, I'm gonna leave this here so you can see Laguna Beach. And then I'm gonna show you the way that we're gonna do this using the app. So I'm gonna go over to the left-hand side of the page. And this time we're going down towards the bottom and there's a little grid here and it says apps. So you're gonna click that. Now the app that we are going to use, and I did have a very short video on this, but I'm gonna you know, make it a little bit more obvious here. Ooh, let me find it, you gotta scroll down a little bit, right down here. So where it says create something new, type craft. So it's this blue one, kind of looks like a fish, type craft. So from here, what we're gonna do is pick our text. So I'm gonna put Laguna Beach. Okay. I'm gonna pick my font. And so there's lots of different fonts here to choose from. There's, you know, a bunch, but you don't have endless choices. It has to be one of the ones listed here. So you may need to scroll through here for a while to figure out, you know, which ones you like. But as you go through, you're just going to kind of pick the one that you want and you can play with it too, by the way. Okay. So for this one, I'm using this one called uh, Deuce123. And so that is what I'm going to do. Now you can also do some styles. So no style. You can do an unfilled so it's just an outline or we can do a filled with an outline. So lots of different ways. Let's just go with none for now. And then we've also got colors. So now this is black text. I'm gonna want white text because I'm gonna do this for a black shirt. So up here where it says color, I can go to this box that you can't really see very well. And I'm gonna move that up to white. So now I have my Laguna Beach right here in white. Now here's where you can play with it. You can warp the text any way that you want. Um, now before you couldn't do this in Canva and the only way to do it would be to go over to like photo P or something like that. But now that I can do it in Canva, and again, it's only for little short phrases like this, but I can warp it. So I can take any one of these lines and if I was to pull it up like that, you can see how I can warp it. And I could bring the bottom one up like that. 
warp it. And so you can play however you want. I can make it go out, I can make it go up, I can twist it, I can make it, you know, upside down. So you can really start to play with it. But for this, what I just want is to get that nice little curve. So I'm getting a curve, much like I do on the right-hand side of the page, but all of the letters are still facing upright. So instead of the H looking like it's going out to the side here, it's going straight up. Now, the one thing that bugs me a little bit about this is this does not have any kind of rulers or guides to line up. So you do kind of have to do this by eyesight to make sure that everything looks like it's, you know, pretty even. Once you have it the way you want, you can go down here and click Add Element to Design. And there's my element. Now, I can't edit the element here. I have to go back here to edit it, so just so you're aware. And if you edit it and you're like, no, I liked it the way it was, you know, you can either go back, or one thing you can do that makes it easy it would just be to duplicate it. So if I hit Control D, I could have a duplicate copy and still edit the original. Um, so different ways to kind of protect yourself. But there you go, Laguna Beach. And so now you can see the difference here between this Laguna Beach and this Laguna Beach. Even if I was to take this and make it more narrow so that it looked closer, I mean, I could take it and, you know, make it narrow and bold and blow it up so that it's big and curve it more so that it's got the same curve to it. There, so you can see the difference, how these letters are all still going upright and how these are kind of going out to the side. So this is a really popular thing that you'll see. So I've seen this a lot, this university style, you know, text. So that is one way that you can do it. So I'm gonna get rid of this. Actually, I might just use that, I'll put it down there. And Laguna Beach is gonna go at the top of my design here and so that's pretty cool if i did need to change anything by the way if i click on this it'll open up the app i can come down here and play with it some more and again if i wanted to maybe hit Control d and make a duplicate copy just to make sure i have a safe version i could then still go up to the original version edit it however i wanted maybe i don't want it to be curved quite so much so maybe i want to bring that curve down just a little bit in fact maybe i want to bring this curve down just a little bit so that it's not quite as curved but still pretty curved i could do that and i could hit update elements and it updated this version but it didn't update this version so now i could see which one do i like better and i actually probably like the second one a little bit better because the first one looked really really curved so maybe that was a little bit too much so yeah let's say i'm going to go with this okay so that's my beginning, Laguna Beach. Okay, so from here, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm just gonna use this since I have it. I'm gonna put California, cause that's where this is. So let's just go ahead and write California. And I do want it to be capitalized. So if you go to the top where you got the big A and the little A, you can hit that, it'll make everything capital. And I do want this to be straight, so I'm not gonna have a curve for it. So here is my Laguna Beach, California. And so that kind of goes out there and so so far so good for the design now all we want is some sort of really simple design in the middle that sort of represents wherever whatever location you're doing so for laguna beach california something like a beach design would look good something like palm trees sunset something like that and then every good you know design style like this is going to have the established and then when it's established so this is where you might want to do a little research so again, you can do this and scale it out, but let's say I'm just looking at Laguna Beach and I wanna know when was Laguna Beach established. I can do a quick you know, internet search on that and find out when Laguna Beach was established, which was by the way in 1887. So I can go ahead and hit text and I can go with established, write that in there, it's tiny. Oh my God, why is that so small? So there's my established because I don't want it to be small again. I'm just gonna hit control D move this over to the other side and this one is going to say 1887 and then from here i can go ahead by the way and pick some different fonts too so i just kind of went with some of these basics but for this one let's say i wanted to do a little bit different fonts so let's say i'm going to go up here and i had one called neo contact this one right here 
And so that looked pretty good too. And I can take this one and also make it that Neo Contact. So it gives that look. The bottom text, eh, it's not bad, but maybe I wanna make it a little bit, um, maybe a little bit different. It's not, too, honestly, it's not too bad, but let's say I just wanted to pick a different font. There's another narrow font that I like and it's Knockout. So there's Knockout. This one is a little bit more narrow. So I liked that. Bring it in just a little bit. This one, by the way, I can make bold, so I can still bold it right there. So pretty simple. And then I just need to get my little elements in here. And so now I'm gonna go up to elements and now you just sort of search. So let's go with like sort of a beach. Let's start with beach theme and see what I get. And I'm gonna go under sort of graphics and lots of different beach graphics. So here's some palm trees that I could use. Um, and if you see something that you like, you can do a search for that. So let's say, oh, I wanted to do, oh, I like the flower. I could do a search then for hibiscus or I like the palm tree idea. I could do a search just for palm trees. So sometimes you might have to search a little bit to kind of get some ideas of what you want. You know, maybe, oh, I'm gonna search sunset or I'm gonna search shell or I'm gonna search you know, any other terms. And so, you know, here's like, not necessarily what I want, but you can see the idea, just the little um, basic design in the middle there. So we can play for a while and try to figure out, you know, which one we like the best. And so you can just sort of search from there. Okay, so there we go. So I had to search for a little bit, but I found this one and this is the one that I liked the best. It filled the space, it was pretty evenly balanced. It's got the palm trees and the sun and the surf. So it did a good job simply of representing the city that I'm going for. And so boom, there you go, easy design. And then the way that I could scale this out would that be to pick another location. In fact, I could pick another beach in California. So just search beaches in California, find another beach and go ahead and you know scale it out. Just make sure that you get the right year. So easy way to do that, by the way, is to just duplicate your page. So at the top here, if you go to that little plus, you can hit duplicate and now I've got a second version. And so now I could just edit this for another beach. I could still come up here usually and eh, it's not gonna let me edit it now, but sometimes I can edit it or I can just get rid of it, make a new copy, um, which is what you might have to do. But easy enough to scale out and pretty simple, fast design. And so you can do it for anything. So don't necessarily just copy this. I mean, you can pick any state you want, any anything you want. I mean, and that's, I just wanted to show you guys how you could get that curved design. Um, so if you have any questions about this, drop it in the comment section below. I try to get back to everybody as quickly as I can. I got another video on locations uh, coming up again later this week. Um, and then, you know, a bunch of fun quarter one, quarter two stuff moving forward. So take care. That's it for today's video. If you found that useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative. And we'll see you next time.